This is the front of the school, the main house. But where we need to be going is to my lab, which is up here. Right there at the end. Here's Hop Hope the Pass. You can see the cliff of Ravenscar, and that's the sea over there. It tides in, we can see from here. And it's just here where we're going, just opposite the stables. Okay, so here we are. Well, first time that something interesting could be happening in here. Let's make sure we follow the instructions down here. There are 11 year olds provided us with this. But let's go. Now this looks like the right place, one of the students created that for me, I'll just hand all of these on here. And this is what we're interested to in tonight. I particularly like this one, look there's the chicken head logo, oh look up, up here there's a poor little apple outside crying in the window because he can't get in. Take a moment to look down the corridor. False perspective spiral. So here we are in physics. Let's go and take a look. Okay, well here we are in the lab, where all the machines are all set up. So let's have a little look around. We'll start off at the back. Well, that's my uh, Women in Physics poster to inspire the girls who come to study here. And over here, we've got, there's the class set. There's a variety of machines in here. Some you'll be familiar with, some you won't. Let's have a look. So these are Raspberry Pis in a Fuse case, fuse.co.uk, but they do a really good version of BASIC, but here I'm running Combian. So I'm running Vice on Combian system here, so we're all got the same systems. Although we do use a Fuse BASIC as well for other applications, especially when programming the Pi on here. So I've got two of them at the back here in the room, all ready to go. Um, over in this corner, you'll see a BBCB. Here it is, the Acorn computer. Um, that's not currently plugged in. I've got three of those, but I've just got it out for today just to show you. Various cathode ray tubes. That's my first ever games console over here. There's a Binatone thing from 1978. So let's move around the room. We'll go over here. This is another Raspberry Pi machine, but this one is inside the Pi 2, I think, or Pi 3, I don't know which one it is. If I slide this open, you can see. Pi side there. So again, this is running Combian 64 in the Big 20 mode, and I can easily take out the SD card down here, turn it back into Raspberry Pi if I want to do some electronics on it. But today it's another Big 20. Here's another fuse machine. This one is in the style of the BBC with the cream and red buttons, which I quite like. And over here, you'll see one of my emulators. This one I'm particularly pleased with. It's running Combian 64 Vice. But look at back here. I've, this one's been nicely converted. So I've got USB ports in here. The HDMI is here, the power. There's the Raspberry Pi, so you can access the SIM card if I need to. But I don't need to, because this one's going to be permanently, permanently a VIC-20. I've even got ports here. This is the time dial. Um, adapter here you can see for, to convert the keyboard with uh, two ports just like the 64. So that's a nice late boxed VIC, the CR VIC there, but knowing this it has got the Raspberry Pi inside it. But what's this? This is my VIC-20 from 1982, my original one, my first one, and here it is working perfectly. You can see on the big CRT machine we've got uh, the first penultimate cartridge in the back. I've got another one of these on a different machine. 
got the uh, SD card adapter in there, loaded up with some stuff. So we can save and load from that. And if you look up on top of the cupboard there, you'll see the box. There's the original box from my Vic 20 from Christmas 1982. So the kids get to see all this stuff. They get to see the connection between my personal history, the history of the machines, and, um, and what we can do with them today. So let's have a look around this side, starting off at this end here. This is my second computer, Atari ST, from the, the late 80s. Um, I'm not plugging this in today, just got it out just to show you that it is there. Here is my daughter's Vic 20. She's an 11 now, and I got this for her when she was just turned nine. It's got a penultimate cartridge in the back there, so we can run all sorts of stuff and save it on there as before. This is coming out with a component output onto a nice new TV. As is this Vic here. This one, I think I've got the screws still undone. Yeah, so I can show the kids how machines work inside, show them the size of the chips and compare it to the modern Raspberry Pi. They don't lift it, obviously, from the risk hazard there. And that's running on a, on a modern TV too. So what are these funny things here? Well, these two are mugs, obviously. 20 mugs. Everything's branded here. And just inside the room, not for sale, but it just adds to it. This is a Commodore 16 case that I bought. And there's a Raspberry Pi 3 in it. So that's running Combian 64 as well. Um, beautiful mugs and over here is a Commodore 64 case that I got hold of in really nice condition and this one has been converted as well so I've got all the ports all lined up you can see around here there's the time mouth converter for the keyboard there so you can plug joysticks in so that's really nice <coughs> so they're all running Vic 20s at the moment because that's what I that's what I grew up with and that's what I know the best. I know all codes for it. So we could easily turn any of these into Commodore 64s if we wanted to, apart from the, the, obviously the three real ones that are over there. Um, here are some the Osborne books and pull examples from. Here is my original notebook from 1982 with my notes and programs that I was writing at the time. I never got very advanced with machine code, which is a shame, which is why I've got hold of all these books today. So have a look at these. These are all facsimiles I've made from the PDFs available online. Because I don't like reading stuff on the screen. I like reading it in a real book. So this is a brilliant one, programming the Vic. Um, I've made these available so that I've got the programmer's reference guide and the user manual all in one book for both the Vic and the 64. And here's some books on machine code. That I'm working my way through to try to figure out so I can pass on more information to the kids. You'll know what that is and some more advanced stuff here. So my goal is to teach kids how to program these machines from scratch. So here's a view from the front of all the stuff. So who's been this um, bloke that you've been talking to? So if I turn it around um, you can see who this fellow is who's set all this stuff up. So, hello. So, look at that. So, I've also got the only club in the school that's got his own t shirt. You see that there? And you probably can't see it because I probably can't twist it around the back. But there is a program on my back which I can't really show you, can I? Because I can't twist it around. So, I hope you've enjoyed um, a tour of the lab and some of the stuff that we've got here. It's got about half an hour before uh, my students come in. And today we're going to be doing some user programmable graphics. You remember about that? It's one of the things I first, first time I did it, it was just so amazing to be able to uh, change the characters. So I've prepared these little handouts for them that we're working through. So this is what we're going to look at today. How to make a character, a programmable character. Now of course you can do this sort of stuff on a... Um, on any PC in Photoshop absolutely with ease but it's the fact that you're controlling it and you're so close to the computer with basic and then later with various machine codes and that's why I like the the Vic basic itself poking things into memory poking things to the screen you know, the kids like it that they can be proactive in controlling the machine rather than it controlling them
So thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you think um, of the project and uh, I'll, put in I'll be putting stuff on my blog when we get, hopefully when we eventually get some interesting programs written. Thanks a lot.